Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Now, I did do a little bit of grinding uh, before this episode, and I leveled up my dexterity twice, because the scimitar scales with dexterity. So, right now my right weapon 1 does 96 damage, and before it only did 90. Uh, and I also, as you can probably see by my face, and probably the white humanity thing in the top left, but I reversed hollowing and kindled the bonfire. So you can see now I have 10 Estus flasks. So what we're gonna do now is head downstairs and talk to a very important NPC in the part of the game that we're at right now. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? Okay, I don't know why he said that. Um, I can learn a gesture. Hurrah. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know why he said that, but we are going to reinforce our scimitar and buy, okay, we can't buy, um, what we are going to do, though, is, um, We'll use the lost souls, or the large soul of lost and dead. That'll give us 400 so we can get like one and a half titanite shards. <laughs> um, now we could get two. If these are 800 each, yep. Alright. We'll purchase two of those, and I will not have enough to reinforce anything. Okay. Um,. Yeah, we're not going to go down there yet. And you guys don't need to know what's down there yet. It'll all be a mystery. But anyway, um... Over here is the entrance to Sen's Fortress. And as you can see, it is closed. And it is closed because we have to ring the two bells of awakening, and then this giant gate will open. And once this giant gate opens, then... We will all be very happy because I can get my new weapon. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're going to talk to Mr. Onion Face here. Hmm. 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 Okay, we'll talk to Mr. Onion hmm. Face again. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, -ho. forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge, no matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. The, uh, when the gate opens, then he's gonna leave, and he's gonna show up again, I think, in a later area. Um, do I, yeah, I wanna go up here. Um, yeah, he'll show up again in a later area, and he'll be relatively important. Um, I'm not, I can't remember what he does, but I think it's something good. So we're just going to come up here, and we're going, or our goal for this episode, ooh, summon signs, um, is to not get backstabbed, um, uh, kill the bell gargoyles, and that is the boss of this area, and, ow, fuck, um, if we can, I'm going to try and get to those summon signs, and try and get some help. Because where I'm at right now, uh, these bosses are not necessarily difficult, but it would be a lot easier with more than one person. And with the enemy we're about to fight, I could definitely use um, some help. <laughs> so, you know, why not just summon like three people? Hopefully this will work. Um... I don't know why that's there, but... And now we wait. OK. 
Come on. There we go. What's up, bro? It's always nice to bow to people, especially when they're helping you. Because then it shows that uh, you respect them, I guess. And yes, we have to kill this guy up here. Who is a giant asshole, and this is a black knight. And he's got soul arrows. Alright, so this shouldn't be hard at all. Kill him, yeah! Thank you. <laughs> and I'll walk up here and get the Firekeeper's soul. And that'll... Uh, we can upgrade our Estus flasks with that. And shoot this dude in the face. And run like hell. Okay, so we got summoning failed. I do want to go out here and try and see if there's another summon sign. Not that I don't have faith in the guy that's with me right now, but... You know, I want more people. <laughs> and that soul arrow is going to hurt a lot. If I get hit by it. So we're going to try and... Uh, okay, maybe it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would be. Um... But we're definitely gonna try and get the hell out of there. Oh, you want you want some balder? You want some? Bring it. Yeah, backstabbed him. All right, summoning failed. I don't know why summoning's always failing. Probably because I'm recording. Because you know that always happens. Did he? Yes, he did. He dropped titanite chart. Awesome. So we are going to head upstairs after I heal. It's a soul arrow fight. Okay, no, we're not gonna. Dude, run. Okay, you need help. Oh, yeah, and you can heal your uh, phantoms and your summon buddies by using Estus flasks. Which is very helpful. Um. And I. Oh, fuck. Um. I think the worst thing that people can do is summon someone and then not heal. Cause uh, that's just that's just a dick move. Cause like there's no way for him to heal other than using his humanities. Um. And it's just I don't know. <laughs> it's it's just not very nice for someone to. And you're not gonna hit him. Oh, this dude's gonna hit. Soul arrow fight. Oh, he's dead. Awesome. Alright, so let's run up here. He's gonna trigger the 38 hollow. Okay, maybe there's not 38, but there's definitely a lot of them. Oh god. This could definitely be the death of me. No! My oh my god. Run! Hit him with a firebomb. Hit him with another firebomb. Hit him with a third fire but oh my god. This is this is bad. <laughs> there is way too many of these guys. Oh my god. Okay. I don't uh I don't foresee this being very helpful. Okay, I should be able to take on these two guys. Maybe. There we go. This last guy could kill me, but he won't. And for some reason, we get another humanity. I don't really know what for, but oh well. Oh. Oops, no, no, no. Let's go, dude. You and me, buddy. We are going to conquer the world. And by the world, I mean the boss. Hopefully. And I'm pretty sure there's more hollows over here. Uh, yeah, I want to go over there and get that. I think that's a soul item. I think it's a large soul of the lost undead. Maybe. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Okay, I think that'll give us a uh, thousand. 
which is very helpful. And so we will come back over here, and we got this dude. Welcome, buddy. I would bow, but I'm climbing a ladder. <laughs> now I will bow. You gonna bow back? Or you okay, there you go. Let's go. And we'll come up here, and we are going to summon Solaire. Uh, no, where is Solaire summon sign? I don't know where his summon sign is. Um, but this boss is weak to lightning. So we will actually wait for this guy to be here. And he probably just wasted that crystal thingy or whatever he's using on this weapon. Um, yeah, we're going to wait for <coughs> the guy I summoned to come back. And if he doesn't show up, then we're just going to go. I like your uh, your mask thingy, bro. Come on. And this is the very boring part of Dark Souls, when we wait for people to be summoned. Awesome. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Apply the gold pine resin. Oh, he's back. Welcome, bro. Then I'm gonna wait out here for him. Patriarch, let's go. Oh, he's got the Drake sword. Alright. And booyah. And it only shows me during the cutscenes. Uh if you're if you summon somebody, it'll only show you during the cutscenes. So, like, it only shows me walking up here, even though I have two other people with me. Yeah. So, this is the Bell Gargoyle. Or the Gargoyle guarding the first Bell of Awakening. And we're just gonna run up here and not die and start kicking ass. As this guy is halfway dead, thanks to our summoned buddies. And you might notice that if you cut off his tail, you will get another weapon. And this dude is breathing fire because he's a douche. I hate this guy. Stop breathing fire. And you're dead. Yay. Thank you guys. Bye. Awesome. So that went really well. And we got two inhumanities and 10,000 souls. I did it. Yes, you did, buddy. You totally did it. I don't know if you did it by yourself or not, but. And uh, I'm pretty sure Solaire uh, is supposed to be like a summon sign back there, but I don't know why he didn't show up this time. Uh, just checking to see if there's any extra stuff down here, like a chest or a summon item, or a soul item, not a soul. And we are going to head upstairs. The very long and tedious ladder. To ring the first bell of awakening. And then we'll get a little cutscene, and then... This is very... Di the worst thing... I did this in my first playthrough, is I just sprinted out here and I fell right off the edge. <laughs> That's definitely something you don't want to do. But we will come up here and we'll see the first bell of awakening. And we'll walk over here and ring this bell. Okay, so, um, the next thing I think we're going to do is use a homeward bone, because I really don't want to walk all the way back there, and of course we only have one, uh, um, but the homeward bone allows you to, uh, teleport back to the last bonfire that you rested at, 
which is very helpful uh, in this case because I don't have to I don't have to go back through and climb down all those ladders and fight all those guys again. Actually, I wouldn't have to fight all those guys again because I didn't arrest at a bonfire. But anyway, I'm lazy and I feel like teleporting back. <laughs> I'm not sure where the last. Oh, okay. Um. So yeah, we'll rest here and run down here and purchase some more titanite shards to upgrade our scimitar as I'm standing on this dude's fur or his anvil and he's smashing my leg with his hammer that's nice buy 16 if we wanted to we're gonna buy six um, so you can see in the background the bell of awakening is chiming And we will bring this scimitar to scimitar plus five. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so this is doing definitely a lot more damage now. Um, this has got 145 damage. Uh, so now we will use the rest of these souls to level up. Actually, yeah, because I'm pretty sure to bring this to the scimitar plus six, well. I need to modify it, and I need a special ember. So I can't do that yet, but we will be getting that special ember soon. I hope. <laughs> so there's really nothing else we can do except for level up. Um... Yeah, another one in Vitality. Okay. So, next thing on the list is to go activate the shortcut to Firelink Shrine. And that is back over there where we fought the Black Knight. And as you can probably guess, the Black Knight does not respawn. Uh, mostly because that would just be a dick move by the game. <laughs> if they made the Black Knight respawn, because he is a very tough enemy, especially for uh, beginning players. Not beginner, but beginning, like where I am right now. Like he's he's not really like uh, strategically tough, but he is a tough enemy to deal with like uh, health-wise. Um, so yeah, we will, okay, just making sure. Um, Uh, fine. I was gonna say let's not fight these guys, but why not? Just hit him in the face. Yeah, I don't even. Did he even move? Actually, I don't think I hit him. That's probably why he didn't move. We can hit these guys in three hits and they'll be dead. So that's helpful. And we'll take on Balder Numero Dos. We'll do the one, two, three, and he's dead. And then we've got Balder Number Three. One, two, okay, now he's, he's a different type of balder. He's got the parry shield, so he blocks a lot more, or a lot more often. And I think he might have more health, I don't know. Um, we, uh, that's what we got to do. We got to go down here and open up this gate. And then eventually we should probably kill the bull. But I don't want to do that yet. We got a basement key, which is helpful. Um, I just realized this could be very bad. Is Mr. Bull going to turn around? No, he's not. They're all completely oblivious to the guy behind them opening up the gate. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to leave that be. We will pick up this halberd. Um... I'm almost positive we don't have the strength to use that. Yeah, it's 16 strength, but we have the dexterity. <laughs> so we've got one half of it, but I'm not really going to use the halberd because the scimitar does more damage. Imminent fatty. I get it, because you're talking about the black knight. That's funny. 
Anyway, we're going to take this elevator ride down to Firelink Shrine. And then we're going to rest at the bonfire, and we're going to talk to uh, What's-His-Face sitting to the right of the bonfire on the step, being a lazy ass, not doing anything for us. And yeah. <laughs> so we're going to come down here. And I'm not sure if I talked to Petrus Hello yet, there. but... I believe nope. okay. we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Farland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Well, no. Hello there. I realize <laughs> that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Okay, so he gives a cup of oh coin. My. You again. <sighs> oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. Would that please you? Okay, so he's going to sell us well. miracles. Then first, and we're going to go. enter his covenant. Sure, why not? Now okay, so their ultimate effectiveness now we were able to buy miracles from him, but I will not be using miracles, I don't think. Um, so we have a shrug now, and he will sell us Great Heal Excerpt, Homeward, which I think is the same thing as a Homeward Bone. Um... And he's also got heal, which might actually be helpful, but I think it does the same thing as our Estus Flask, so that's not really that useful. Um, he also t sells talismans, Come again. since we're not going to be using miracles, we're not really going to be using talisman. So, so you might remember from before, we got, or we'll t come back to you later, um, we got a Firekeeper Soul. And we've got this dude down here. I don't remember why you're here, but I'll come back to you later. Um, so we're gonna give her our Firekeeper Soul to reinforce the Estus Flask. Cause now we have Estus Flask plus one. And that will, as you can probably guess, heal more than the regular Estus Flask. But we're gonna talk to this dude. I do not remember who you are or what you say, but we're gonna find out, I guess. Hello. I don't think we've met. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. We're both undead. But perhaps we can help one another. <laughs> okay, so this is Lautrec. Uh, what business do you didn't have? realize that's who this was. If I thought he had a different none, set of armor on. Then stay silent. Hmm. If you are... Okay, so he's not going to tell us anything. Um, so, next thing we need to do is talk to this guy. Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> yeah, Blighttown's uh Blighttown's a bitch. Don't you <laughs> ever think to forge your weapons? You'd better find a smith box soon. Unless you enjoy swinging about with blunt instruments. Ha <laughs> uh, you're so damn funny. Okay. So we're going to rest at this bonfire, level up once, bring us 17 endurance, and now we have 247 souls. Um, I'm not quite sure where we go after this, but I know what we can do. We can... Um... Okay. 
<laughs> I really don't know what that was about. Um, actually, no, we can't come back here. I thought we were going to get that chest, but I guess we did that before. Um, what we can do is run down here and fight these skeletons. And if you're in the early game, I remember that I did this the first playthroughs. This is a very, very difficult area if you don't know what you're doing. Um, because these skeletons have a lot of health and they hit very hard. Um, definitely not something you want to do in the early game. But you can, I guess, farm these guys. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I'm probably... Uh, too weak for this area right now um, even though I have scimitar plus five uh, I'm still not taking these guys out relatively quickly um, and you also need a divine weapon to make sure that these guys don't come back actually never mind that that won't really uh, be a factor because there aren't any necromancers over here um, so just forget I said that <laughs> that's for a later area but we are going to run over here, grab this large soul of the lost undead, and run very far away. Because these guys are douchebags. And they hit very hard. Especially the dude with the giant greatsword. Or the giant meat cleaver. <laughs> and they... Okay, I could die right here. Um, they also inflict bleed. And bleed is the little meter... Uh, at the bottom of my screen right now and if that meter fills up then it takes out half of your health because it inflicts bleed and that would make you a very sad panda if you <laughs> especially like for PvP if you're playing against someone who uses bleed um, on all of their weapons then it's definitely not a very fun fight um, because they hit you, depending on how much bleed damage it does, they could hit you three times and kill you. And you could be hitting them for like a half hour. Um, yeah, we're going to do a suicide run. So, I'm just going to run through here, grab as many items as I can, and hopefully not get stuck by this giant dude. Okay. Um... I think the only thing left down there is the claymore. Actually, no, the claymore is on the bridge. Um, I'm not sure what else is down there, but I know there's binoculars down there. And the binoculars are right where that, like, in between the two trees over there. That's pretty much where that is. Um, but we're not going to be needing that because I don't think I've ever used binoculars at all. <laughs> um... But yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to come back here and rest at the bonfire. And I think this bonfire is defaultly kindled. Um, so you'll always have 10 when you come back here, which is very helpful. And we've got another dude down there. Uh, I have no idea what armor he's using. But we will come back up here, and I think we have to go back to Undeadburg. And we're going to take on that Silver Knight. Maybe. No, stupid. Oh, they die in one hit now. Cool. This will be really easy. Come here, bud. Don't make me hit you. Come here. Real quick. I gotta tell you something. It's called sword in your face. Ah, I'm sorry. That, that was bad. <laughs> I feel bad about that one. Alright, so take you out. Nice job hitting the wall, buddy. And you're dead too. Okay. So we'll come up here. Kill Mr. Rat. And... Actually, I think the next area we need to go to is the depths. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the depths at all. And not the Binding of Isaac deaths. I'd rather do that than this any day. But we're going to have to deal with it. And we're going to have to deal with the stupid slime guys. And then we're going to have to deal with Blighttown. 
but should be good to get it over with right away. Okay. Um, actually, I know what we're going to do. We're going to get shot in the back with an arrow. And then not get backstabbed. Not backstabbed. Um, okay, you need to stop with the frenzy shit. Run up here. Take out crossbow dude. Suck crossbow dude. I missed. But crossbow dude's dead. Um, we're going to rest of this bonfire. And go back and kill crossbow dude again. Because crossbow dude's an asshole. And that dude has no shirt on. And not get backstabbed by the. Oh, he didn't even come up here. Come here, bro. You're dead. Come here, bro. There we go. Okay, so we got one more guy. Down here. And then we got the two spear dudes. Bring it. Oh. Fuck. Um, how am I going to do this? Just like that. Okay, that was awesome. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. So we got to bait him to attack. And he's going to swing once, and we're going to hit him all his guards down. And we will get a hollow soldier shield. Which I'm pretty sure we already have. And then we got Axe Dude. Battle Axe Dude. Who's going to die. And then we're going to go see what the shopkeeper has to offer. <laughs> Um, gotta buy that for later. Um, bottomless box, I guess. And that's it. Thank you kindly. Okay, now we're just gonna straight up murder this dude. <laughs> and who did? So we got residence key, and we got the Uji Katana. And the Uchi Katana is a very good weapon because it inflicts bleed. Um, it does. It starts with, with 90 base damage. Um, it also has a very low durability. But what we're going to try and do is get Uchi Katana to a Lightning Uchi Katana or an Uchi Katana plus 15. And I really got to turn notifications off. I will remember that for next time. And they just threw like... Four fire bombs at me each. That was not cool. I should just hit this dude in the face. There we go. All right, stop with your arrows. You're not cool. Hit this dude in the face and the dick. Okay. <laughs> so we'll shoot this dude twice, three times. Nope, he's dead. I don't know if there's still somebody over here. Nope, okay. So, I'm gonna run through here, take out these two guys because I thought there was only gonna be one of them. Fuck. Hit me. Bad move, buddy. Okay, maybe good move. Ah, oh, don't you heal. Stupid son of a bitch. Thinking he can heal whenever he wants to. Only I can do that. And now we're gonna come over here and take out this dude. And he's not going to drop anything. And this dude did. Dropped a short sword that I'm never going to use ever in my entire life of playing Dark Souls. Okay, why are you running at me? Die, don't hit me! Oh, he missed. And I still got hit. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take you. Hit you again. Hit you. You dodged. I hate you. Okay. Um... All the guys up there are dead. There's an arrow in this wall. Or in this door. It's not a wall. Um. Yeah, so we're just gonna hit this dude in the face. Then we're gonna hit this dude in the face. And they're gonna be down to half health, so they're probably only gonna take one hit to die. And that is true. This dude still got the arrow in his face. And we got this dude. And he's a shield dude, so I probably should have taken him out first, but whatever. 
He still died in one hit. Got a Hollow Soldier Helm, which I'm not going to use. Because I don't like the Hollow Soldier armor. And there's really no point in me using it. You hit me in the face. Actually, no, he didn't. He hit me in the shoulder. Sounded like he hit me in the face, but he didn't. So now we're going to head down here. And... Yeah, why not try and kill the Black Knight? Good luck, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to backstab this dude. I really don't think we're going to be able to, but... Nope, okay, run! Fuck. <laughs> Bad move, hit him with a firebomb. Aw, oh, you blocked it. Bastard. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come on. Okay, we're doing, like, no damage. And he takes off a lot of stamina. Okay, he does four hits. Not cool. Didn't realize he did four hits. This was a horrible idea. Okay. <clears throat> I should be able to do this and he hits right through my shield which is bad um yeah i should be able to do this and then we can go down and get that sweet ring backstab him come on come on bro let me backstab you shit no backstab him Come on. Ah ha 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 ha. We got a Titanite Junk. Awesome. And 800 souls. That wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I think if I would have hit him with that firebomb, it would have done a lot more damage. But, oh well, we still killed him. And now, we will get an awesome ring. Just kidding. This might not be as awesome as I thought it was going to be. Uh, never mind, that is actually pretty awesome. So this is going to boost defense when our HP is low. Um, I still have, yeah, okay. Uh, so when we get low, there will be a kind of like emitting light around us. And that will, um, oh, I completely forgot about you. <coughs> like I said, boost our defense, which is going to be very helpful. Um, not quite for anything coming up, but later on it'll be helpful. So, we're going to come up here and run across where we fought the Taurus Demon. And we will head back to. Oh, you bastard. Uh, um, we're going to head back to where we saw Solaire and where the big scary dragon is. But we are not going to kill the big scary dragon because that would be complete suicide. We're going to use the basement key. We're going to head down here. And we're going to climb down this very, very long and scary looking ladder. <laughs> so, I can't remember what's down here. Oh, now I remember. <laughs> This is not a fun place to be. This is definitely not a fun place to be. Try jumping. Fuck you, I'm not jumping. And now we opened up a shortcut uh, to Undeadburg. Which is awesome. I think this is Undeadburg. Yeah. So we're going to rest at this bonfire. And then I think that's going to be it for this episode. And also, uh, we bought the bottomless box. And that lets us uh, store items. So you can store rubbish and the copper coin. And all these useless, um, useless items that I'm not going to use. Uh, I need to keep the halberd, not want the leather shield or the wooden shield. Um, I 
I think the Hollow Soldier Shield is like a straight upgrade. Um. So this has got 65 fire and 50 lightning. Yeah. So we are going to equip the Hollow Soldier Shield instead of the Night Shield. Um. Yeah. Okay, so now we look cooler because we've got this awesome shield. And we are going to level up our strength once. And then I will end the episode there. So, thank you guys for watching. And next time we will take on the depths. So, thank you for watching again. And I will see you next time.